Hey everybody, it is Jack here for my weekly vegan friendly taste test review. If this is your first time here, definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date with vegan friendly content in Australia. And today we are taste testing these two new products from V2, their new V2 tenders and V2 schnitzels. So V2 has had an amazing past couple of years. They've had mints, they've got burgers, sausages. This is a creative company from the CSRIO in Australia, creating meat alternative products that anyone can enjoy. And hopefully these two new products that are available in Coles supermarkets for $8 each can be another set of winners here. So we have plenty of beef alternative products on the market, but not a great deal of chicken alternative products on the market. So it's fantastic to see new tenders and new schnitzels. So I've had the oven preheating for a little bit now, so I'm gonna whack these on a couple oven trays and see if these are worth your money. So let's go. Check them out here. So these took absolutely no time at all in the oven, about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven and they've turned out super crispy. But the schnitzel itself has a rather crispy batter around it as you can see here. And then the tenders have a little bit of a softer batter around it, still look a bit crunchy. So probably more of like a breadcrumb sort of base and then just a crispy batter. These are both soy based proteins in here but as I said really exciting that there's more chicken alternative products out here and what I actually really do love about this schnitzel look at the size of this schnitzel it is massive so anyway friends let's try out this schnitzel first So you probably heard that crunch is an epic crunch on these. In terms of the texture, it is spot on. Very, very perfect there. In terms of the plant-based chicken, it doesn't have any overpowering soy or wheat taste to it. No strong flavors to it at all, which is probably what you want. Whereas the crumb itself, crispy as I said, but probably could have had a little bit of seasoning on there to kind of take it to the next level. So it is a really good option in terms of like a plain schnitzel, super crunchy, no overpowering soy or wheat taste to it. Texture is spot on, but it just, you know, maybe needs a little bit of something to kind of elevate it to that next level. But overall, I am really happy with that schnitzel. That size of that schnitzel is so, so good. Anyway, friends, let's try out these tenders, seven tenders in the packet which is a bit odd amount but nevertheless let's try this one out so these are southern styled tenders batter again like a softer batter not as like a breadcrumb batter like the schnitzel this is just really softer but super crunchy still Similar texture to the schnitzel, really good texture on that one. But in terms of being a southern style tender, I'm really struggling to find any sort of flavors on this one at all. Maybe a little bit peppery, but like I am actually getting nothing southern in this at all. I really expected maybe like a bit of spice, a bit of kick to this one, but it is actually really, really, really lacking on that seasoning side, that herb and seasoning side that I really was hoping for, for a southern style tender. Honestly, cannot fault the texture. The batter is really lovely. That plant-based chicken is spot on. But in terms of flavors, it just really isn't there. But if I didn't actually cook these myself and someone cooked them up for me and said these are southern fried tenders, I would absolutely not know that these are southern fried because there is nothing that stands out for me personally that screams southern fried tenders. There we go, friends. Just tried out the two new products from V2. Two quality plant-based chicken products there from V2. Really happy with those offerings. So schnitzels are dense and like massive for $8. Two of those for $8 is really good value. 
probably needs a little bit more seasoning on that crumb to kind of elevate it to that next level. It is a really great option to be like something really else. It kind of needs a little bit something on the seasoning side to kind of take it to that next level. And with those tenders as well, I'm not getting those southern styled flavors that I expected from those tenders. The batter itself is really lovely and crunchy. The texture of the plant-based chicken is spot on. But those flavors, again, a little bit lacking overall to kind of elevate it to that next level. Anyway, friends, that, of course, is just my opinion. I always love hearing your opinion in the comment section below. So please let me know in the comments if it's a yay or a nay from you. And if you enjoyed this video, check the like, share it around, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more vegan-friendly taste test reviews and much, much more. Even if you're not in Australia, you're gonna love this vegan content that I'm pushing out every single week. Anyway, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, catch you soon.